big, powerful, sophisticated lobbying operations like the ISPs have, they work best when people aren't paying attention, when it is kind of an obscure issue, when the only people who are really engaged on it are kind of big industry players. In those cases, lawmakers, decision makers, people, you know, whatever the regulatory agency is, they, they end up being very engaged traditionally and often with the industry position. Everything that's sort of stuck in the slow lane, not because the ISP is targeting it, because the ISP doesn't really care about it. All of those things get stuck in this sort of second tier internet, but everyone has kind of this internet map of their own and it's full of all these sort of random niche corners. And all of those corners get left behind and degraded when they're stuck in the slow lane. Let's say you have someone who builds a great new app and it requires faster speeds than old apps. What happens? People go to their, they say this app is amazing. They go to their ISP, they say, I want a faster internet connection. The ISP makes more money, it takes that money, it invests in the network to speed the overall network up, which then opens the door to someone else to come along to build the next app, the next use that requires more speed. And then you get back in that cycle. And that cycle is what drives all it, but the cycle requires among all the pieces that new, new apps, new uses of the internet can just exist online, that people can start something new to fuel that growth and that innovation. That's the way that it works. The, the, the way that you take you know, policy decisions back from entrenched interests is basically to, to tell your member of Congress or the decision maker you're paying attention. You would be shocked 
how few phone calls it takes to you know, a member of the House of Representatives office from constituents before they call us. And they're like, so there's this net neutrality thing. Um, a lot of people are telling us it's important. We need to know what's going on. I mean, you get like 40 phone calls in a concentrated period of time to an office. That'll get their attention. You get, you know, 100 phone calls to a Senate office. That'll get your attention. You know, on some level, you could say, oh, well, the ISPs might actively interfere with, with that. And, you know, that, that could be true. But you don't even have to think that to be worried because on a non-neutral net, I and mean, if I think of all the digital tools that we use to get, to get people information, to get people engaged, to activate them, how many of those tools simply wouldn't have been created on a non-neutral internet? issue that impacts everything that is done online and we're in this moment right now where those fundamental rules are being written as we say both as we speak and as you are listening to this podcast right now and that's the time where policymakers decision makers really need to hear from people outside of washington that this really is important and so uh, take it seriously and know that when you do weigh in, it makes a huge difference.